How's it going YouTube? This is How Rad Is Ryan. Today we have the long-awaited Celebrations Ultra Premium Collection. Finally available in my area. I cannot tell you how excited I am to get this cracked open. Let's check it out. As you can see, this collection comes with a bunch of stuff. We've got packs, gold cards, pins, metal cards, you name it. 25 years of Pokemon, this is the ultimate celebration product. seen a couple of these opened so we're gonna start with this drawer on the right which as you can see it includes some bonus packs we have uh, chilling rain vivid voltage and darkness ablaze three chilling rain three vivid voltage and two darkness ablaze so we've got eight packs we're gonna set those off to the side we do have a code card for anyone that wants to redeem that. I'm not sure exactly what that will come with. We're saving this middle drawer for last. We've got a little pull tab. Like I said, the presentation is insane. We've got a, me a metallic sheen ultra premium collection uh, guide that shows every single promo that comes in this set. There's one of my favorites right there, Light Toxtricity. And there's a little sneak peek. As you can see, premium. I highly recommend anybody that can get this, uh, get their hands on this product. I was able and very lucky to get this product for retail price which is uh, $119.99. It's currently reselling for way over that amount. Um, but if you stick in there, I'm sure you'll be able to pick one up at your local stores. We have a fully metal Pikachu 25th anniversary coin. And inside this pocket right here, I believe this is um, 13 Celebrations Booster Packs. This is actually 17 Celebration Booster Packs. So let's see what we can pull in those in just a minute. As you saw when I opened the drawer, we've got two promo cards. First off, we have the gold, fully gold Pikachu V. Sword and Shield promo number 145 that comes in this box. This is just the tip of the iceberg, of course. By now you probably know what uh, comes in that middle drawer. We've got a gold Pokeball to go with the Pikachu. And these cards are just premium. They look amazing, fully gold. Never seen anything like this. Um, we're gonna set those off to the side. 
and we're gonna get into the middle drawer. Next up we have the best card in this box potentially, the gold Charizard base set reprint. Let's get this out of the packaging here. Final item to come in this product is the amazing Charizard and Pikachu pin. This is probably one of my most favorite pins to have come out recently. All right, we're back. As you can see, I have put the metal cards inside perfect fit sleeves, so they are sleeved inside of the magnetic sealed cases inside of a top loader bag. Um, best protection I could come up with at the moment. I wanna take a look at these. We're going to get them out, sleeve them up, get a closer look at these gold cards. I've never seen anything like this. It's almost like a holographic gold. Um, this one is actually pretty off-center. We've got a thick thick side over here and a thinner side on that one. But nonetheless, this card is amazing. Um, I have got my perfect fit sleeves, which um, if anyone is wondering, sometimes I like to get the perfect fit on there and then uh, double sleeve my cards which these ones definitely deserve a double sleeve treatment. We're gonna get it in the Dragon Shield clear. Uh, well, the matte. And there we go. So we've got the gold Pokeball. Next we have the Pikachu V. And this is going to be a little bit of a longer video. Um, this is going to be my video before Christmas that I upload. Um, probably the Wednesday before Christmas. I decided to switch to Wednesday uploads. So you'll be seeing this at that time. I do have a special video planned for Christmas Day. Um, I've ordered an amazing product that I cannot wait to open and uh, you'll just have to wait and see what that is, or if it's after Christmas, you can go check it out right now. Okay, so these are the gold cards that the product comes with. We've got the gold base set metal Pikachu, the fully gold holographic Pikachu V, fully holographic gold Pokeball, and the metal Charizard as well. These are premium for sure. Set those off to the side there. Pikachu looks crazy. 
we've got the pin joining us and let's not forget we could pull something insane because we have 17 celebrations booster packs i did count them to verify they are all there there's not going to be any mix-ups in this box um, but first we're going to get into these extra packs to see if we can pull anything right off the bat um, i'm going to save chilling rain for last because i am still searching for some alternate art cards so we're going to set those off to the side and let's get started all right everyone merry christmas and let's get into the first pack we've got darkness ablaze here we go i cannot believe i'm actually opening an ultra premium collection box uh whoops we've got a green code so let's go four to the front we've got a dark border on the back let's see what we can get off this first pack we've got electric energy ferret Steenie, Bird Keeper, Wimpod, Cub Chew, Skarmory, Gothita, Paris, a Reverse Hollow Combuskin, and our first poll of this video. Look at that, it is a Mew V from Darkness Ablaze in a green code pack. Can't always trust those code cards. We're going to set our polls um, right here. The gold Charizard is going to get the mantle today for sure. Going into our second pack, um, I guess I'm having trouble hiding these code cards. We've got another green one. Honestly, it doesn't matter at this point. Uh, as you can see, they can't be trusted. We've got Old PC, we've got Laron, Simseer, Panseer. Look at that, two evolutions in a row. We've got Tropinch. Vanillite, Golit, an awesome artwork, Didene, and a bear tick on the end with some Christmas vibes right there. Going into Vivid Voltage now. Who knows, maybe we can pull a Rainbow Rare Chonky Boy with the celebration of that Pikachu metal card in the back there. Get the code card off to the side. We've got four to the front and going in with a water energy. Trumbeak, Hitmon Top, Macargo, Execute, Chatot, Kalabapus, Skidoo, Shuppet. Okay, sweet. So we got an amazing rare. This is the first amazing rare. I have pulled from Vivid Voltage, uh, the Vivid Voltage packs that come in Celebration products. I have not pulled an Amazing Rare yet, and look at that, we got a Celebi Amazing Rare. And on the back we got a Hollow Magirna. The Celebi definitely is the pull of the pack though, we're going to get that sleeved up. I love the way these Amazing Rare uh, textured paint splatters fit in there look at that we got Mew and Celebi those go together and uh, on to the Celebi pack second pack of Vivid Voltage this is going to be um, quite a longer video because I've got a lot to open I just kind of want to take it all in um, and you know have a good time so we've got Swellow, League Staff, Drillbur, Oshawott, Duskull, Ferrisseed, Ryolu, Reverse Beldum, and a Drapion V, another hit. There we go. Drapion V with Rackdown and Hazard, Hazardous Claws. Is that what that says? Yep, Hazardous Claws. So there's three hits already, and we are only on the extra packs. We haven't even begun to touch celebrations. Speaking of celebrations, I am still looking for that master set. We uh, have just a few cards left to pull. I did manage to pull the Charizard, which was, of course, one of my chase cards. Now we're hunting down that Gold Star Umbreon. I have not pulled the Gold Star Umbreon. We're also looking for the Mew EX and the Tapu Lele GX and the Reshiram. 
Whoa, full art, Galarian Darmanitan V from Vivid Voltage. Wow, I have not pulled this card yet. We got Freezing Headbutt and Frozen Slice. Galarian Darmanitan V full art, wow. This is number 169 out of 185 in this set. Sweet. Fun fact, as of the recording of this video, the shiny for Galarian Darmanitan V is coming out in Pokemon Go soon, I believe with the Christmas event, so that's really cool to look forward to. On to another pack, we've got four to the front. We've got a Grass Energy, Thwacky, Peony, Galarian Chest Plate, Galarian Slow Poke, Coughing, Galarian Yamask, Snowrunt, Boon Sweep, Venipede, and another hit out of Chilling Rain. We got the Zara Aura V. This is definitely one of the alternate art cards I would love to pull. Um, such a beautiful artwork on the alternate art for this card. But here we go. We've got quite the stack of hits just from the extra packs. That is really cool. Going into the next Chilling Rain pack. And we've got four to the front with a electric lightning energy. Doctor, Ladian, Peonia, Snow Runt again, Weedle, Working Out, Cast Form, Quillfish, Ralts, Gengar, look at that, Reverse Rare Gengar, and a Galarian Weezing, that looks like it was drawn with colored pencils, that's pretty cool. Alright, last pack here of Chilling Rain before we get into Celebrations. Last chance for an alternate art card. Let's see what we can get here. Four to the front. We've got Fighting Energy, Melanie, Brawly, Whirlipede, Mareep, Rockruff, Swirlix, Lapras with Melanie, Deerling, Reverse Hollow, Galarian Surfetched, and a Zangoose regular rare on the end. All right, and on to the main event. 17 Celebration Booster Packs. Here we come. Starting with pack number one. I am going to go a little bit quicker through these packs just because we have seen a lot of the set uh, already. We've got Ho-Oh, Zekrom. Right off the bat, we've got Team... Uh, sorry, Rockets Admin Classic Collection card. All of the Classic Collections are going to get a Dragon Shield. And on to the second pack. Rockets Admin, not a bad one to pull. Um, but like I said, we are looking for the new EX, the Umbreon Gold Star, Tapu Lele GX, and Reshiram. Let's see what we can get in pack number two. Trolled by Professor Oak, the imposter himself. We've got uh, imposter Professor Oak here. All right, going into pack number three. Let's see what we got in this one. Reshiram, Dialga, Palkia, and Azamazenta V. Not too bad. Yet another hit. Whoops, that's a perfect fit. Let's get a regular premium sleeve here. Slide some cards over. There we go. Next pack. I'm not even going to begin to try to keep track of the number that we're on. Um, let's just get right through them. We've got Evil Tall, Xerneas, Ho Oh. And a full art professor research. Have pulled quite a bit of those, but it is the only full art in the set, and it's an awesome one. Let's look for more classic collection cards here in this pack. Let's see what we can get here. I see some shine on the edge there. We've got Xerneas, we've got Ho-Oh, Palkia, 
and Lunala. I don't know what I was seeing. Possibly some hollow foil from the edge there. Sometimes these holographic cards can have some shine on the edge. All right, we've got another Evil Tall. We've got Lugia, Cosmog, and Lunala. Wow, a couple packs in a row. Are we not getting hit? Celebrations does have quite a good pull rate. Should be about 40% or every two and a half packs, whatever that may mean. There we go. We've got Don Fan Prime and a flying Pikachu on the end. There we go. So we're going to get Pikachu sleeved up, premium sleeve, and Don Fan gets the Ultra Pro, or sorry, the Dragon Shield. Don Fan Prime. Very cool. I actually don't have a lot of Don Fan. Let's keep going. This box would be absolutely bonkers if we managed to pull a Gold Star Umbreon. That is my chase card right now. Look at that Venusaur. And a Surfing Pikachu VMAX. I love these double hitters. They are so awesome. Um, wow, another Venusaur. I mentioned uh, in a couple videos that I have been able to pull Venusaur and Blastoise like crazy. Charizard, however, he's eluded me. I pulled one, and it took quite a while. I managed to pull him in an all uh, elite trainer box. Groudon, Kyogre, Reshiram, and Mew. Um, I do have, like I said, every other card in the set. So let's see what we can pull in this one. Evil Tall, Cosmog, <laughs> another Venusaur, An a second Venusaur. You know what? Venusaur uh, was my favorite starter when I had played the original games. I had Pokemon Blue, um, and I would almost always pick Venusaur. Um, of course, I did pick Charizard a couple of times and Blastoise, but whenever I would go back and replay those games, Venusaur was always on the top of my list. We've got Luxray Level X in this pack. Another awesome classic collection card. And uh, just looking over at the stack here, we've probably got about five or six packs left. So let's see what we can get. We've got Ho-Oh, Zekrom, another Imposter Oak. Okay, not, not too bad. Wow, this recap for this video is going to be insane. We've got so many hits so far. I'm so thankful to be opening this box. I know a lot of people have not been able to get their hands on it. And that is just very unfortunate. It seems like the Pokemon Center would know that everybody wants to get their hands on one of these but yet you know they're in such short supply it just doesn't make any sense okay there's an awesome one that we've only this is the second one uh, i have pulled mewtwo ex and we've got another surfing pikachu on the back mewtwo ex is awesome but i do need the mew ex Let's see what we can get here in these last couple of packs. It looks like we've got two left after this one. We've got Cosmog on the front. Reshiram. Cleffa as well. And a full art base Pikachu. I was wondering when we were going to get one of these. It seems like you get one of these in every Celebrations opening, no matter what. That uh, is such a common card. Cleffa is one of my favorite artworks to come out of Celebrations. I love that Neo uh, reprint. The Neo series are definitely some of my favorite cards of all time. Going into the second to last pack, we've got Eviltal, Xerneas, Ho-Oh, and a Zacian V. Alright, last pack. Can we get some last pack magic? Let's see what we got here. Whoops. I do have quite a bit of Celebrations products to open still on the channel, so the hunt for Gold Star Umbreon will continue. 
we've got Cosmoem and Cosmog and a Team Rockets uh, admin and a surfing Pikachu VMAX. So we did get some last pack magic at least. Quite, um, it's quite awesome to get two pulls in one pack. And for our classic collection pulls, we've got Luxray Level X, Don Fan Prime, Cleffa, Mewtwo EX, and then the uh, we did get three sets of duplicates. We got duplicate Venusaur, we got duplicate Imposter Professor Oak, and duplicate Rockets Admin. I want to once again wish everyone who's watching a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Thank you again for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.